<laughs> Thank you for joining me on the Valder Reeves Show. I'm having a good time today, and I've got another guest to add to that good time. I've got travel journalist Julie Lafrady. She's here. She's going to give us some fall travel fun. Julie, what's going on with fall travel? Are we are we making it different? <laughs> Well, despite inflation, a recent TripAdvisor survey finds about half of us are planning a trip this season, but staying a little closer to home. So that means road trippers need to get their vehicles ready for bad weather, snowy conditions, and that means new tires. So Pirelli now offers weather active tires, and these are new all-weather tires equipped with a 60,000-mile treadwear warranty for long-lasting performance in all weather conditions, and the three-peak mountain snowflake rating, which certifies that the tire delivers really excellent performance even in severe snow conditions, so making the weather active a true Four Seasons tire. That's important. Uh, I can't stress, and people know that when you're especially talking about taking a road trip. So what are some of the other trends we're seeing for travel this fall, Julie? Well, it's leaf peeping season, and Michigan is a fantastic fall destination. USA Today Best Readers just voted the Upper Peninsula in the state a top destination for fall foliage. Brilliant autumn colors, cool weather activities like hiking, apple picking, wine tours, golfing, fall festivals. And the state has many pristine rivers known for great fishing this time of year. So you can check out Michigan.org for some great fall trip ideas. I so agree. My husband's from Michigan and it is a beautiful state. It really is. Okay, so what are uh, what kinds of destinations are we seeing people planning for? Well, certainly activities are on the top of my list. And when touring the heartland, you can't miss Bentonville, Arkansas. This is the mountain biking capital of the world. The town features hundreds of miles of trails for all levels of riders. And from the trails, you can access um, art museums and parks and playgrounds. They've got a really cool craft brew scene and coffee scene there. So there's lots to do. And there's a reason they call the place Oz. It's just a magical place you'll want to visit again and again. Well, you're a visual travel guy, Julie. I really like that. <laughs> Any other uh, tips to prepare us for a travel season or the season ahead? Yeah, so now is certainly the time to get outdoors. And for those looking ahead to the holiday travel season, it's going to be a busy one. So my advice, book those tickets now. <laughs> I agree with you so very, very much. And go to the airport early. That's another tip. Uh, Julie, where can we go for more information on fall travel? Because uh, the weather's changing. Uh, I'm in Texas. Uh, it's like 69 this morning. Can you believe that in Texas? Mm, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it's going to be like 89 today, at the end of the day. So <laughs> we have to enjoy it while we can. Any more? Where can we go for more tips and information on travel? Well, you can check out Pirelli.com, Michigan.org, and also OzBrands.us for those mountain biking trails. Julie, I want to thank you. They say you were a travel expert and a lifestyle expert, and I believe it all. Thanks for being my guest <laughs> on the Valder Beebe thank Show. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hey, I'm Valder Beebe. I broadcast on radio, streaming TV, podcast, and in print publications. I interviewed the world's most fascinating authors, all because I love a good book. This summer, I partnered with WPS for BB Summer Book Giveaway. We're giving away New York Times bestsellers and award-winning books, books that inspire me and I'm sure they'll inspire you. To be eligible to win a copy of Jesus Can Give You a New Life, answer this question. What is God's greatest gift to mankind? You'll find the answer in John 3.16 of the Bible. Send your response to the email at the bottom of the screen. I'm Valder Beebe, and I'll see you for the next Beebe Summer Book Giveaway.